Welcome back to Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to sort stainless steels with a handheld XRF. In this video, we actually have the Vanta Core by Evident Scientific, formerly Olympus, and we have 10 different stainless steels here to sort. Now, just like in other videos we've done, we've got the alloys actually printed on the samples. So let's start with a lower alloy sample here. So we'll just approach the sample and we push the trigger one time and we're gonna let this analyzer work. Now, remember there's a smart sort here, which is gonna tell the beams, it's gonna configure the X-ray beams for us. So if you'll see here, we have um, a sample called nine chrome one molly, and we were able to identify that with no problem. You'll see that the nickel is very low and the chrome isn't quite over that 10 and percent threshold for a stainless steel, but it still uses a corrosion resistant material. Next up, we have a 304 stainless steel. This is the most common stainless steel in the world. 304 is used everywhere, and typically it's a benchmark where other stainless steels are compared against. So we were able to nail that grade with no problem. It can be confused with CF8, which has higher silicon, but both alloys are of the same family. Next up, we're going right up the list here. This is a 17.7 pH. Now this is a precipitation hardened alloy. So we're able to nail this just fine with a great identification. Now, 17.7 pH actually has aluminum in it. However, the smart sort can identify without the needing to actually see the aluminum. You can turn the smart sort off if you want to identify with that aluminum, but you don't have to. But it's an easy alloy to identify with handheld XRF. Next up, I've got one of the scrap yard's favorite metals to sort. This is 316 stainless steel. They're able to get a premium when they can find this because the Molly, this 2% molybdenum, abbreviated MO here in the chemistry, this is actually worth more money. So this is a high grade of stainless steel that fetches a premium price when being, it's being recycled. Next up, we're gonna go higher in alloy content. This is 317 stainless steel. So 317 stainless steel is gonna have higher alloy content yet, but again, it's just a couple of seconds and you're able to identify the exact grade match with the Vanta Core and it's not a problem. Next up, we've got 321, which is similar to a 304, but it has a titanium addition to it. So we have to see if this analyzer is able to sort that properly and it looks like it is. And that titanium addition, which you'll see down here, is able to be detected with this XRF technology. The Vanta Core being a newer XRF is very fast, very snappy, very sensitive to those elements. A similar alloy here, we've got 347, which is actually very similar to the 321 we just uh, measured. The difference is 347 has a niobium addition. So when we look at this, we're able to see that yes, we got an excellent match for 347, and we were able to identify that niobium value here. Looks like the minimum is 0.6. It might be around that value for the standard. I don't have the chemistry in front of me, but we did a great job in matching that. Now we're gonna go down in alloy content. This is a 400 series alloy. And this is an alloy where there are some other alloys here that can convolute this. Specifically uh, for the 410 series or 420 series, they can be mixed up pretty easily. But you'll see here, we were able to identify 410 with no problem. You'll see that the chrome is at 10.75%, but that nickel is way dropped down to 0.212. That's pretty low. It makes this alloy much more economical because the nickel actually adds a lot of cost when uh, when you're actually doing uh, when you're actually producing the alloy. Nickel's expensive for an addition. Now we've got a 430 alloy. Okay, and you'll see real quickly we're able to identify 430 with no problem. But just like that 410, those 400 series alloys, they lack that nickel content a little bit, only about 0.2% nickel but still able to grade identify really easy. Now here's a weird one. This is called F255, but the trade name for this is Feralium. So we're gonna see if this analyzer will identify this grade, and it will. And you'll notice that there's a lot of, uh, if you notice the chrome value is almost 25% chrome with a healthy amount of nickel at 6.4, about 6.46% and a ton of molly at 3.791%. So this, this is a very high alloy stainless steel, but again, the Vanta Core did a great job and identified every stainless here. Now there are more stainlesses out there that you may work with that I didn't show today, but I just wanted to show 10 because I think 10 is a good number of saying, hey, we can't tell the difference of these if these are flipped over, they all look identical. But with an analyzer like an XRF like this, you're able to identify incoming material, uh, recycled material, things like that. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.